In our series on the new normal, we look at how the pandemic is dramatically changing our everyday lives, and those changes affect the way we work, the way we learn, socialize, and also travel. Now, many of us have been under stay-at-home orders for around two months now, and so we're looking at uh, new and safe ways to, even though we're staying at home, still see friends and family. And we're joined in this effort by a senior managing editor at CNET, Dan Ackerman. He's from our partners there over at CNET. And he's joining us from his home in Vermont. Uh, Dan, good morning. Uh, video games come to mind as one option beyond the FaceTiming and the Zooming that people are doing. But walk me through how video games can be a social activity. Sure, we've all played online games before. That was popular even before this. But what I'm finding now, especially for kids, is that video games have become what we call the new play date. It's how they get together with their friends. Uh, my third grader goes online and he plays Roblox and he plays Minecraft. And either he chats in the app with his friends or, frankly, he just has an iPad behind him and turns on FaceTime and he's talking to his buddy who's playing the game at the same time as him. And that's the, that's the closest they can get right now to getting together in person. And every parent I talk to, it's some version of this whether it's Fortnite or Minecraft or Roblox or anything else. Yeah, I've been using uh, Brawl Stars, I think it's called, with my older son in Israel. There's a time change difference, but we can both get on at the same time, be in the same game. It's a wonderful way to socialize. Um, for people who aren't into video games, uh, what other activities are there beyond FaceTime? Sure, I'm doing a lot more Zoom happy hours. I think everyone else is also. Uh, it was kind of a, an edge case before. You go, who would do that? that? That sounds crazy. But now, since it's what we can do, it's what everyone is doing. I've gotten together with people I've worked with you know, 15, 20 years ago, and we all get on the little nine-person Brady Bunch screen in Zoom where you can see everyone at the same time. And it's not as good as being there in person. But for people who are spread out around the country, it's actually something you wouldn't normally do. So I think that's super interesting. And, of course, people have turned it into a trivia games into into baking with other people my mother is going to do her normal uh, quilting and crocheting uh, get together but they're going to do it over zoom instead of going to a, a bed and breakfast and everyone's sitting together so anything you could do in real life they're finding ways to recreate uh, through these video sharing apps yeah it's really cool and it's, it's surprising how quickly you forget that you're on a digital device and you just go into happy hour as it would normally feel and i've also done the cooking as well the one thing I can't really imagine recreating uh, digitally is the kind of group fitness class, uh, that kind of activity where there's energy in the room because you're all together. Is that possible to recreate in any way? And the energy, you kind of have to bring that yourself, but I've seen two big versions of this. One is a lot of the big companies like Peloton, they've shifted to a remote model where, you know, it's you can use the bike or you can use your own equipment and they really want you to use their streaming app, which has become very popular just by itself. And then every small independent health and fitness person I know who maybe does classes or yoga or tower readings or anything like that, they've shifted to doing a streaming model where they'll have a live event once or twice a week or even daily. And and uh, their, their members can come in and share that or they'll post, you know, a bunch of new videos every week and maybe do a live one as a kickoff. So even for small business people, uh, it's become a really big deal to shift that business model. And no, it's not the same as going to the room together with everybody else. But I'm surprised pleasantly, I think, at how quickly people have taken to this. All right. I may give it a shot. Although, as you say, the energy, you have to bring that yourself. I can try. Dan Ackerman, thank you very bring much. I appreciate energy. it.